Ooh la la. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this one, we're going to do a quick review of the trade that we did today. Uh, as you can see, it was a monster trade. This one, I got up early um, pre-market in Koi. I definitely didn't see this coming, but it did happen and I got lucky um, and took advantage of it. And so made some good profit off of that. So we're going to jump in and take a look at that trade. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if you have something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So let's again, let's jump right in, guys. Like I said, this was a crazy morning. I got up early just because uh, this stock finished yesterday with some momentum after hours. So I wanted to see what was going to happen uh, open today. So the market opened early. I got in and then um, things really just went crazy. That's the best way to describe it. So let's jump in and take a look here. So this is uh, the chart for the uh, stock uh, AEMD. Um, so as you can see here, this was like a $2 stock uh, just um, a day ago. So yesterday, this was a $2 stock, and then it just went crazy, as you can see. Um, so after I was yesterday, it squeezed from 2 to about, let's see, to about $4.50. So from $2.20 to $4.50. So um, I traded it a little bit in this in this zone right here. I can get even, yeah. So I traded it a little bit in this zone right here. So you can look at, see that squeeze. Uh, from two. So I, I think I got in somewhere here because I missed this initial run. So I got in here, but smaller size just because uh, it's after hours. So I was worried about volume. So I got a smaller size, traded this to up here, took some profit. And then, um, so it's see how uh, the rest of the evening yesterday is squeezed to a high of uh, 4.67 and then pulled back, but stayed above VWAP throughout. So I kept thinking like, this is gut. I like what I'm seeing here. And then this thing pulled back down a little bit. And then, uh, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, maybe this is it. You know, the next thing I know is volume starts to come in. So I jump in the trade somewhere around here, somewhere around four. Um, and then volume just kept coming in. Um, it went up to $6. I'm like, whoa, six, but it stayed up there at $6. So I'm still holding. Um, and then it, it, I, I was going to pull back here. So I kept thinking like, oh man, maybe I should have sold some of that, but I was still in the morning. So I was like, okay, let's, let's just hang into this trade. Let's just give it a, um, you know, a little bit of time so that maybe if there's something that's going to develop and boy, did I do the, make the right call in that situation? And look at what happened. Right there, what happened is a just squeeze from the, the, the $6 that we, we saw initially for a high is squeezed to seven, squeezed to eight, pull back a little bit, squeezed to nine, squeezed to 10. So I saw half of my position somewhere around 13, sold 50% um, of what was left somewhere around uh, 16. Um, and then up here, 18, I sold a little bit now. I still held, um, I think I held just like 30 shares left at, at about here. And then, I, cause I came in like, if it goes up that school and it pulls back to 12 and then, you know, kind of squeeze back up a little bit. And then I think again, around 15, somewhere here, um, I finished my final position and got uh, completely out. So I was uh, completely flat uh, somewhere here, which was insane. Um, so, and then after that, that 18 for a high, 18.5, it pulled back down to about 10 and stayed um, just above VWAP uh, throughout the rest of the morning. And then pulled, look at this right here, pulled below VWAP um, right um, before open. It started to squeeze back up again a little bit to about 10. So right at open, it pulls down um, right here, flushes a little bit, and then kind of squeeze up and did this quick um, high of 12.4. And at this point, I'm just sitting there chilling because I was like, hey, I, I I don't need to go back in this trade because I'm, I'm good. I made some good money. So I just kept watching it. Um, but then I think somewhere around here, I took a really small trade. Um, just about, I think I had about a hundred shares um, somewhere here. 
Um, and then um, it, it went up. I, I, I did a video, recorded that video, got up here and kind of got out of the trade somewhere around here. I don't, I don't know the details of that trade. It was a small trade. So, but I took a small trade here just because the setup was good right here. Look at that volume. So the setup was good. So I took that trade. But again, I went small because I, the whole idea was I didn't want to give back some of the some of the profit that I had made. So it's like I, I just wanted my money in the bank. So that's why I took just that little trade there. But otherwise, flushes here again uh, towards the end of the day, and then never really recovered. So we'll see. And sometimes the stocks they would run after hours. And um, so I still I'm anticipating that um, if after hours this thing run, I might kind of take a swing at it again. But for now, I really have no I really have no reason to want to jump back into the trade because sometimes, again, like I said, um, once you're done with it, you move on and forget about it um, unless it's this the setup is excellent where, you know, for sure you can't give back any of your profit. So. That's why I um, did that. So that was the one trade that I took that kind of get my day. And um, I didn't really want to spend more time trading. So I jumped out and did some other stuff. Um, and that was it. So again, guys, um, AEMD was the perfect one. It just um, just hope that, you know, from time to time, we get really good you know, squeeze like this. Um, so you can really make some good profit. This is it was just, this was great. You're talking about going from four bucks to eighteen. That's insane. That's insane. I'm I'm even mad at myself because I didn't. I could have been adding more as we went up, but the only other reason I didn't do that is because when you're trading uh, pre market, you can't use uh, your bracket orders in Weibo. So the stop loss slash take profit, you can't use that in, in pre market. So I just like you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna, you know, be smart and and stay away from trouble. So I only took the size that I felt comfortable with. So that's it. Again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars to get some free stocks links in the description below and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated